well this is the future brew shed six foot wide eight foot long a bit damaging the floor we've got to sort that out get some more wood sorted for it before we can progress any further with that but today it has been constantly on and off raining all day so no progress to report really on the shed front yet unfortunately uh, good old British weather is balls that up for another week anyway back into the house I reckon Humber Wednesday again As you saw from the little snippet there, the shed hasn't progressed. No surprise there with me, I guess. No, rain stopped play. I was hoping to get on with that, but um, the good old English weather has returned after a few nice days. You get other things done. Got a few other little... If anyone wants a dog, I have two going spare out of six. <clears throat> the noisy shit will be one of them. Anyway, let's crack this bottle open. It's got a wire cage on it and a cork. Not Belgian though. It's from our colonial cousins. From down under. Although this is a wee bit old now. I've held on to it far too long really. It's the Moa 5 hop. From New Zealand, from Marlborough. I think the actually bottle condition is when they're starting to pull a little bit of yeast up. Most of it stayed there. So it's just nice. Yes. A little bit of yeast sediment around there, actually. Five hops. Cascade, Pacifica, Motueka, Halatau, and Nelson Sorwin. All chucked in one tasty little brew. It's, um, dark writing on a dark label is not good marking. 6.2%. <coughs> Let's try some kiwi brew. Mixed fruits. <clears throat> Quite bitter, but fairly well balanced. There's a sweet side to it as well. Not much on the nose now. No, I've had it. <clears throat> I've had it since around the Christmas time, I think. got a date on it because it's relabeled by the UK importer. Best before NC neck. That's usually quite a bit of a joke in our place because most of the time you can't even see the dates on the neck. What have we got? Uh, Ten thirteen, fifteen oh one. Batch number fifteen three fifteen. Oh. Well, it's carbonated. <coughs> They're supposed to stay good until 2015. Although, well, being a hoppy ale, I would have thought there wouldn't be a lot of hops left. Certainly detectable on the palate, but not so much on the old snifter. <coughs> Take them bloody things yeah. We've got another fan. can progress with the stair plate build. I've ordered a little speed controller for a PC fan. So I'll just cannibalise that. Hopefully when I get it and actually see it in the flesh, <coughs> it should be winging its way to me. I was going to build one from scratch, electronic components, but if I uh, opt to do a, a build video then I don't think most brewers out there have got a box full of electronics components, circuit boards and soldering irons and 
potentiometers to um, make their own speed controller. So I opted for a bought version so that everyone can do the same thing. I've got a second hand one for £2.60 I think. But there's little PC speed controllers there in the UK. They're about five or all less with the postage. Certainly you shouldn't be paying more than that. They all seem to be the same. So hopefully we can <coughs> progress with that one. <coughs> got a few bits ready for the shed build that I've dug out from the other shed. A shed within a shed. But I did receive from our good friend in Yorkshire, Mr. Ant Wadgerson, some bear mail. Quite a bit of bear mail actually, so cheers Ant Rogerson, don't forget to check out the good man's channel. <coughs> I think what he's probably done is um, just relabeled the B&M discount beers, but... <laughs> Kit Lager. Yeast cool fermented, he's going to be all the tech spec, 5.7%. Cooper's bottle with Murphy's Stout from June. A CP, whatever that is. Hello, by the looks of it. I think he did put some information A Grolsch type all grain using liquid yeast. See, that one's pretty, pretty clear, <coughs> considering they've been. In transit. <coughs> We've got an Imperial Stout. Bottle 4 of 22. Limited edition. <coughs> we have the Step Mash Bar Bar British Ale. Black sheet clay. Handy. I may go for the one off sent out. <laughs> and we have <coughs> an unnamed box. With a Cooper's Cerveza using a liquid yeast. And don't you very clear though the surveyor always is. Um, an NYPD. <coughs> for us. Sierra Nevada. No, 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 American Ale. An NYPD YMCA 1056 American Ale Liquid Yeast. SNPA, Sierra Nevada Palo. <coughs> so yes, we've got a few of uh, Ant's beers to get through, so cheers to Ant for sending those out, and cheers to everyone else who's sent beers in the last oh, few months. Right. Flatten the box in a dangerous position between me and I want to get a paper cut down there. Oh yes, Harry, Harry Brew 69. The chili, some moruga scorpion chilies. Yes, I have chewed a few seeds and peeled a strip off. And they're hot. Don't quite know what I should do with them yet. I'm going to grind one up and um, blend it down with some other chili. I've got one of those chili grinder things that I got at B&M discount. That always annoys me because they usually mix a load of rock salt in them. I had a garlic one once and there was too much salt in them. You put it on your food and it's, I don't like a lot of salt. <coughs> so I might try and uh, blend it down. It should be fairly, um, fairly lean with the scorpion powder. And the other one, well... 
might have a hot cerveza in the summer. Quite how much of one of those to use, I'm not really sure. I know Uncle Jay, I think he used one of those or the Jolica in his uh, sizer the other year. Which is pretty burny on the back throat. Um, it has been a plan of mine for about over a year now to do a cerveza with a chilli. Obviously I don't want to make it so intense that basically you can't drink it else it defeats the object. <coughs> <coughs> mm, this is mellowing out nice now. Nice and smooth. I don't know how mowers rate in the craft beer world in New Zealand. Perhaps Mr. Mr. Baker can answer me that. That's about as good as the one as we can get over here that I'm aware of. The rest of it is sort of like the Monteiths and Tuis. Um, craft wise, that's about it, really. The other stuff's just a macro. A bit like the Aussie stuff, we can get that. Is it little creatures? Victoria bit, uh, and uh, a couple of the other sort of generic ones. Obviously, not Fosters. <laughs> Even we don't stoop that low. We do actually keep the odd case of carling for some beer club. I can only presume they have the carling so when they buy all the good beers they know how bad the shit beer is to gauge it. <coughs> I can't think of any other reason why they'd want to buy it. Anyway, I can't really give you much else guys. I've got really not much else to tell you. Everything keeps getting holed up. Life gets in the way of life. I've got empty FEs. I do want to get something nailed down because I'm getting through my IPAs and I'm getting through my winter ale. The Christmas version of the winter ale which had nutmeg, cinnamon and cloves I put in there as well and a can of liquid malt extract. It's, it's changed flavour. When I first done them there was quite a detectable clove note on the nose, not so much on the taste, because they can cloves can be a bit overpowering. Now it's more it was then more nutmeggy. Now it just seems to be a blend. So whether it'll change again and become more palatable, I don't like them. I think the wife's okay with them, but <coughs> well, I can palm her off with them. The chocolate stats to the kit. Um, and that just leaves me the IPAs, which are okay. They've got the IPA bitterness, but not really a lot of flavour. Um, and the winter ale, which I'm getting down to the last case. And I'm supposed to palm a case of something off to my dad, so I might have to do him a 50-50 split and get one out. Which will bring my brew stocks down just to the smash beer that's left, because obviously they've all gone over to Zippy ready to be redistributed from the hub back out. Well, some of them have obviously gone back because uh, Darren, Jonah and Ben were down there at the weekend to go and see him and pick the beers up. So, we have the draw order. List of uh, order of draw to review the beers and the dates that they go live on YouTube. Which is another month yet, so everyone's got plenty of time for the beers to settle on. A little bit more mature, and I have drunk a few of mine. <coughs> and these, I think, I think everyone's in the same. <laughs> Whatever was left over is getting consumed. So I would have, would have liked to have got another batch in, but um, be interesting to do another one. I say that. But, I'll get a chance to do it. Anyway, I'm just going to waffle on to fill the time if I continue. So yes, the mower bear seems okay. Can't remember what it was. Three pounds something. So I don't know how that can. Three fifty nine, something like that. Three and a half quid. So I don't know what that is in US, um, US, New Zealand dollars. Um, yeah, it's okay. 
I was going to get the steak, but that's a little bit more money. You know how I like my bargains. Charlie does as well. <clears throat> he prefers old gravel. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm waffling. Catch you again next week. And if not, before. And if not, after that. But before that, but in between. <laughs>